Now, when Annie, a neighbor of mine over in Wilton, Connecticut, called me the other day about improving the energy in her kitchen, I figured she was planning on upgrading her electrical service. Turns out she wanted to install a new granite countertop. Now, granite's never seemed very energetic to me, it sort of just lies there. But Annie, a feng shui practitioner, sees granite with a whole different vibration. <laughs> Come in. Hey. Hey, Rob. How are you? Fine, thank you. Welcome to my house. Uh, my name is be? Elspeth Ann Beyer. Elspeth Ann. People yes. call you that? Yes, they do. Elspeth or Annie. Can I use Annie? Absolutely. I noticed you were down here. What is this? This is the altar in the Tai Chi of my house in the art of feng shui, which is the art of managing energy and space. This should be the most peaceful of all the areas of the house. And I happen to have a lot of chaos in my kitchen, which is why I have you here today. Oh, uh, really? Well, let's sort out your circuits. Let's take a look. All right. So, Ron, this is my kitchen. You spend a lot of time in here? Well, not as much as you'd think. Are you but... a gourmet cook? No, <laughs> I'm not. Okay. But you hate this countertop. I really, ever since I bought the place, I've disliked this counter. Now, as a feng shui specialist, tell me about this. Well, there are three main rules in feng shui. There's many rules, but this rule that you don't like something or it is broken or you haven't used it is part of the choice of changing to granite. Well, obviously you've used it and you got to have it. Yes, I have, but so I, I you, dislike it. you like it? it? You dislike no, it? No, I dislike it. Is it broken? It's broken over here. Where? And I tried to fix it. Oh. And you can see I can pull it oh. apart completely. I like the little nail down here. Uh, yeah, well that job. was my doing. You know what, you know, if you could live with this, I think I could probably repair no this. No way. <laughs> so the overriding thing here is you hate it, right? <laughs> That's right. All right. That's right. All right. All right. So is there anything else about the granite, about stone that, you know, the reason you prefer? I, yes, there's the durability and the beauty factor of granite. And in feng shui, this section of my home has to do with fame and reputation, which is governed by the element of fire which produces earth, and granite is obviously a symbol of earth. So that was a part of the decision that I made. Is it that you want fame and reputation? Are you protecting <laughs> fame and reputation? Or? We all need to have a good reputation the way the community views us. It's not just fame oh. as in the way you're famous. Well, no wonder I gravitated <laughs> toward my new kitchen and it happened to come with granite in it. Huh? Listen, I'll tell you what. Uh, you up for like a little sort of shopping trip? Yes, I kind am. Kind of just go, let's go someplace that's got a bunch of granite and we can both look at it. That would be terrific. Yeah, uh, let's see what uh, what tugs at us. All right. right. Wow, <laughs> it's like a rainbow of color. Isn't it beautiful? What uh, kind of tweaks your fancy here? This is a very difficult decision when you look at all this variety. It takes a while, but Annie finally this settles on a sample that's her cup of tea. Of blue, but I also wanted to have a little bit of red into the uh, stone. Like this? This is really red. Blue with a little bit of red within it, which would be this one. Oh, that's interesting. Hoop, and it also has hoop, white veining. Panero Indigo. Wow. I wonder what these, uh, what these, the price range is. I have no idea. Hi. I'm sure I picked the most expensive. Hi, how are you? How are you? Ron? Robert. This is Annie. Nice Robert, nice, nice to meet you. How are you today? We were well, just kind of wondering about, uh, about some things, prices to begin with. Robert answers our questions, then addresses Annie's concern. Uh, Making yellow. such a big uh, decision from such yellow. a small yes, sample. Yes, that's, that's a very good point. Actually, we tell customers that small sample doesn't tell the truth. That's why we go to our uh, slab yard and take a look at actually the large piece uh, uh, slab itself and uh, then make a decision. This is the Jupurana Indigo. We can take this with us. Wow. Terrific. Right. I say let's go to the slab yard. Wow. Will you look at this, huh? Incredible. How much do these weigh? Um, about 600, 700 pounds. Each uh, slab. Depends on the size of the slab. And where's our, uh, our slab there? Um, this is uh, Jupurana Indigo. It's, I assume it's right here. This oh, is yeah. the, uh, the sample. Can see? What do you think, Annie? Uh, Jupiter 9 Oh, it's much more beautiful in person. So, uh, you want to go with that? I think that's perfect. What happens next? Um, we need to take a template, and once we take the template, we will bring that here, and uh, we can cut your stone. We can break your countertop. Fantastic. Annie's stone is pulled, prepped, and poised for cutting. 
A few days later, a technician arrives at her home to make the template. Take some strips of wood. The template is made by laying thin strips of Luan plywood along the edges of the existing countertop. This process reduces measuring errors, accurately duplicates angles, and shows the sink location. The individual strips are then glued together with a hot melt adhesive, forming a rigid pattern that can be lifted off in one piece. Finally, notations about edge profiles and sink style are written on the face of the template. Now, you, on, on the back side here as well, you want to do the, the same as you're getting? Yes, I do. Okay. The template is brought back to the fabrication plant, laid on the slab, and traced. A laser-guided saw then cuts along the outline. The saw is equipped with a diamond blade that's water-cooled to prevent the granite from chipping or cracking. Finally, stone workers use handheld grinding and polishing tools to form the decorative edge that Annie wants on her countertop. Now my friend Annie, a practitioner in the ancient art of feng shui, wants to reconfigure the energy flow in her kitchen. Not with new electrical outlets, but of all things, a granite countertop. She's found her pet rock and it's been cut, honed, and polished like a well-rubbed blarney stone. But before it goes in, she and I have got to exercise her old countertop. We start down under by disconnecting the sink plumbing, then move up to the sink itself. So we gotta take this out. This is kinda glued in. So here's what I want you to do. Take a putty knife and just work your way around here. Oh, hey, 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 hey. we're making progress. Let I'm me just... having a sinking spell. Wow, a thinking spell? Sinking. Oh, <laughs> just getting just a corner, just get it under there. Okay, that's it. Is it coming up? Yep. All right, can you get your fingers under there? Yep. Okay, I'm gonna come straight up. And bye-bye sink. Strong like boom. Next, it's on to the backsplash. Splish, splash, splash, splash. Back I fell in the splash. bath. Not a splish, splash, a backsplash. Yes, got it. And we got to take it off. You okay. know how it's put on there? No, glue probably. Glue, right, glue. So here's the, uh, the two things I'm concerned about in getting this off. I don't want to damage the wall, the paint up here by peeling something away, and I don't want to put a hole in the wall as we Thank try you. to pry this off. I thought you might appreciate that. <laughs> Annie uses so, a utility knife to cut through a bead of caulk. Then I have her tap a wide putty knife behind the backsplash. What I'm going to try to do is drive a pry bar in behind here. And the reason I put the putty knife there is so that when I lift on the pry bar, I don't punch a hole, hopefully, through your wall. The putty knife gives us a solid surface to pry against and does, in fact, protect the wall from any damage. Well. All right, Annie. Like most laminate countertops, this was held down with a few screws, screwed up from the bottom. But only about three for the whole countertop, so it seems like it's also glued on here. So we're going to kind of do the same thing we just did. So if okay. you want to grab your putty knife again, go ahead. Excellent. Turns out it isn't glue at all, but instead more screws that we just couldn't see. I'll trade with you. Here, you hold the light. One of them is being particularly stubborn. You notice I never put these where they're easy to reach. Why is that? Well, somebody had to put it in. So oh, man. There we are. Success at last. Next, we pull out the range. Got the lift in the front a little bit. Hold it, let's stop. I think Eric, you the dishwasher's right? coming out, too, bit. so we can reach the screws that are here. holding down this section of the so countertop. Slide out. Okay. Okay, hold on one second. Let me just give you a hand here. Now, obviously, I've gone ahead and disconnected the electrical and the plumbing on this. What I kind of want to do is see if we can tip this back down a little bit. There you go. My hand is stuck. Oh, oh, sorry. It's okay. Oh, ow, oh. darn. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> Tit for tat there, right? That's right. You're a vengeful person. <laughs> Here we go. Let's take it outside. Finally, the last of the there old countertop go. makes its departure. Pull it down. I'm going to swing your end out this way. and a new dishwasher nestles into place. At last, we're ready for the new arrival. Don't be standing there holding it. I know it's heavy. Now, bringing in a piece of granite countertop is no easy feat. These babies weigh in at about 600 pounds. Once the slab's in place, it takes a team of skilled craftsmen to do the final trimming and fitting. The new sink will mount underneath the countertop, and it's clamped in place until it can be permanently attached. 
Holes are drilled for the faucet and soap dispenser. The backsplash has slipped into place and what began as a massive slab in the yard has been transformed into a stunning countertop oh in goodness, Annie's kitchen. This is magnificent. It's gorgeous. It is gorgeous. You know, I've always I've liked granite. You know, I haven't been in love with it, but now I'm really beginning to see how, how beautiful this can be with the colors. I think this is just stunning. It's amazing how it picked up the color of blue that I wanted it to and how it brings out the cabinets because of the little bit of red that's in the counter. Oh, you got a new visitor here. Who's I this? I do. This is Quan Yin. And she represents? Well, to me, she represents peace and tranquility, and which is really what I wanted to accomplish in the center of my home, which is my kitchen. And we did that? And we did that. All right. We did it with great style and great ease. All Thank right. you so much for coming. You're welcome. Let's take a nap. <laughs> okay.